Hello everyone, there is no intro on today's video because today's video was not planned. <laughs> My glasses are dirty. Oh man, it was a week, huh? You guys still working on your premiere week projects? <laughs> kind of excited. It was a good week. Um, we got a lot done. I made some really, uh, that's not premiere week. That is. This is for Juju. That's not a tutorial. That's not going to be a tutorial. In case you're new here, that's for a concert. I want to see Fallout Boy. Woo -woo. All right, this is one of the tutorials also. Premiere week, wrap up. Fantastic. I just really wanted to make a video and thank each and every one of you for participating. I have gotten such amazing feedback on the tutorial, specifically the two wearables. Although, one of the tutorials that really surprised me, and I think... I think it's in Juju's car. Was the rainbow bag? I think she did. She put it in her car. No, she did not. I found it. The sunshine bag did really good. Like really good. Water bottle did really good. I don't know. We had some really amazing tutorials for Premiere Week, didn't we? Is this not beautiful? <laughs> she really needs to put that in her car, though, especially before we go traveling to go see concerts. We're gonna need a little trash bag in her car. Um, yeah, and they're pretty. So, what was the fifth tutorial? That, oh, the hat, the hat. My hair's looking too uh, fluffy and moist to have a hat on right now, though it's really beautiful outside today. But yeah, the tutorials were really good. Um, give you a little bit of information about what Premiere Week was, how it happened, what, what actually occurred during Premiere Week, all that good stuff. So, crunch by the numbers, it took me five weeks. It took me five weeks to film, edit, upload, photograph the things for Premiere Week. Five weeks. <laughs> That's a lot of work. It was a lot of work. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. And the five weeks was on top of doing my normal every everyday schedule of filming, editing, um, yarn reviews, um, all the stuff that we do on this channel that's that's fun and that is part of my everyday job. I, I did the five weeks worth of work compiled on top of that. So it was, it was intense there for a little bit. On Monday, I'm going to explain to you how sick I got after I did all that because I put too much on myself. But in today's video, we're just celebrating that we got through Premiere Week. We're celebrating all the fun, beautiful makes that we've made. My Facebook group is just blown up. Even my Instagram got a lot of tags and it was people showing me what they made from their premiere weeks tutorials. Um, the water bottle, the, like I said, the water bottle, the bag, really, really popular. Quite a few people made the hat, but I think the water bottle and the bag so far has really been the most, what I've seen the most. Although the shirts, the beautiful wearables, they take a little bit longer. So I think next week and the week after is when we're really going to see the photographs of those show up in the Facebook group and on the Instagram. And I've been sent images to my email address. I just, it's so fun to have a giant crochet along with all of my people here on the, in the, our yarn community. Um, podcasters have been participating. A lot of just you guys have been participating, which I like the whole point of it, right? Um, it's like one giant party and we're all crocheting together and it's so much fun and it really brings the community together. And I think what I'm most proud of is that I really emphasize this year, like if you cannot get Premier Yarns, cause you're in Australia and it would cost you $80 to have one cent, one skein of yarn sent to you. Um, find something local to you that is of matching cause there's, there's a lot of yarns out there that are either relabeled the same yarns or like they're they're similar enough that you can pass it off i haven't seen anything quite like the painterly yet but like i i know that there's other worsted weight anti-pilling acrylics that you can substitute if you if you can't access primary yarns but um the whole point of primary yarns is the whole the whole point of premier week is to really do something together as a community and i really enjoy that um I think going forward, things are going to look a little differently. Q Benjamin or Bentley. His name's Bentley. Bentley. Hey. 
Say hi to your fans. What's up? <laughs> um, but it was a lot of fun, and I'm I'm relieved that's over because it, it it was exhausting. But what's also crazy is, I mean, Premier Yarn sent me a box, and they released a new yarn on the last day, the final day of Premier Week, which was this tutorial for this beautiful little shirt that's got the little peekaboo in the back. Which I kind of love this shirt so much, which is why I've been wearing it so frequently. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, I love this one too, but like this one's my favorite. This one is really, really like, it's so squish. All right, so anyway, Premier Yarn sent me one of their affiliate boxes. It's been a while since I've actually gotten an affiliate box from them. The past several releases, I have been skipped over for those yarns, but that's fine because those weren't my favorite yarns anyway. Um, but this one, it's funny because they sent me, I got an email about a week ago and they're like, we're releasing a new yarn called Fable. And I was like, they had a yarn called Fable, well, I want to say five years ago. It was a DK weight. It was beautiful yarn. I don't think I have any more. I think it either ended up in mystery boxes or I used it. It was beautiful baby yarn. I believe it was anti-pilling acrylic. I'm not positive on that, but it was the same name, Fable, Premier Fable, and it had nursery rhyme names, and it was, oh, it was a really soft three-weight yarn, and I had some in, like, brown tones that I think was Rumpelstiltskin. I got it in mystery bags at the very beginning of the channel, so if you go back to my first videos, like the first year of videos, and you look up mystery bags, you will see the old fable in those videos. <laughs> I will see if I can find one and link it. But this is not at all what I expected. Um, this is a super bulky six yarn. It's a, and This is their little, this is the thing that they send us to, for, this is what they want you to know. Not just me, but you. It says it's whimsical and bold. It is fun colors. I would call the colors whimsical. I would call the colors bold even because this one is absolutely my favorite. <laughs> um, Self-striping. I mean that's evident by the, the way the yarn looks. Super soft blend of acrylic and polyester. It's ridiculously soft. They ain't lying when they're saying that. You know I am really sensitive to yarns. There are some yarns and yarn brands I cannot use at all. And when I opened the box and I looked at this, first of all, I was like, I'm real honest, because you guys know I do honest here. I was like, why are they releasing spring colors and a bulky yarn when summer's coming? And like, I'm focused on summer already, right? <laughs> but I really love this yarn. This is going to work up really cute. It's going to work up really fast because it's so fat. Um, I, I don't understand how the yarn industry works. This is just my personal opinion. So... Like they probably have a reason for releasing bulky yarns this close to summer, but I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, then it should, they, they send a thing with like all the specs. So it's 90% acrylic, 10% polyester. It's 131 yards. The price is never on here and it hasn't released as of the recording of this video. I wouldn't be surprised if this was eight or $9. Just because it's, it's really it's really a nice yarn, but I, like I said, I don't know as of the recording of this video. So here are some of the colors. I will show you the ones that I have that they sent me. So this one's my favorite because you guys know I love corals and pinks and purple. I got a little bit of purple at the end of my hair, but it's kind of falling out. <laughs> it's dying. It, the dye is falling out. Um, got that beautiful, that, like, this is so pretty. This is the color Pegasus. It's so pretty. I was actually going through and guessing what I thought the names would be because these are like fairy tale type names. And so me and my daughter, Juju, who is 18 years old, who this top is made for, um, we were talking about like, what does that look like? Does that look like this or does that look like that? So this, I'm not seeing Pegasus with this one. Um, I don't remember what I said to her though. It's pretty though. I'm not seeing Pegasus though. My Little Pony. Absolutely. Care Bear. <laughs> I know they can't use those names, but like. My Little Pony. My Little Pony. This one is the color Sprite. 
which is so pretty and passed up. This is more like fairy wings to me. I don't know, like fairy something. Do they have one called fairy anything? I mean, sprites and fairies, they're like along the same lines, but I don't like the name sprite. They do have one fairy and I have it. Right? Yes, this one's fairy. And this one's like Valentine's Day. Like Valentine's Day threw up on this yarn and I, I'm not mad at it. This is so pretty. <laughs> It's so pretty. See, the label does not do the yarn justice. Like that's very like bleh. they need to they need to work on their colors on their labels because that printed bad. Because you can't even see this gorgeousness on here. It looks red here. That ain't red. That is like corally pink with like a magenta next to it with like a pastel pinks. I, can I tell you it's soft? I know I keep saying that, but it's so soft. This one's really pretty too. This one is elf. I mean elf. I could I guess I could see elf. This one is a unicorn. I know it looked like if you didn't remember, it, it kind of looked like that one, but it also kind of looked like this one. Whoop! Whoa! There we go. It's different. So it's different from this one because the purple in this is very light, light purple. And this one's a more bold purple, but very similar. I would put those in a project together and that is Sprite and Unicorn. Totally could put those in a project together. I dropped the paper. So yeah, super excited. super excited some of the other colors they have is mermaid which looks on the paper looks red white and blue and pink which I am fine with they have pixie which is also really cute this one's pixie this reminds me of another yarn and I can't think of what that reminds me of like I feel like I've had a yarn in those colors um, Nessie which me and Judy were laughing about because I told her it was called Nessie and she goes, you named my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> Extra points if you know what movie that's from. <laughs> Dragon. 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 I don't do that tongue thing. What movie is that from? <laughs> and, oh, I already showed you Pegasus. Elf, Unicorn, Pixie. Yeah. So I got one, two, three, four... Five. How many colors are there? One, two, three, nine, ten. There are ten colors. So yeah, super excited about that. I have no idea what I'm making with these bulky yarns. Because like I said, I am really focusing on summer right now. As it is in the 70s here today. This video is a hot mess already. I am on a tripod on the floor instead of being on my camera mount, which I usually am on. And I keep hitting the camera because I'm not used to having a tripod right here. And the reason I did that is because I'm filming on my phone and not on my big camera because all my batteries are dead on my big camera. I have six batteries that are all dead because I have not charged them from the recordings that I have done because I've been busy doing a bunch of other things. I've been busy trying not to be sick. I've been busy trying to rest and heal up. I think just honestly, I've been trying to survive <laughs> real talk. Um, and now that I say that, I realize I forgot my morning dose, but it's fine. So yeah, got quite a few new people in the past week. Um, welcome to cinnamon stitches land. The tutorial thing happens occasionally. Mostly this is me talking about yarn, me talking about my life. Us having tea together um, and occasionally I pop up amazing tutorials that are one of a kind makes from cinnamon stitches <laughs> so if you are interested in that I also recently learned how to spin so spun this gorgeousness this week I will be showing you that in an upcoming video several upcoming videos <laughs> but yeah we got a lot of good stuff coming up the next week um, I already filmed a couple of the videos because I was bored and so I was like, I might as well just film the video and get them out of the way and 
Um, what you guys don't know is today while you're watching this, I'm going to a yarn festival, a wool and wool and sheep festival, whatever they call it. I've never been. I'm super excited. I'm going today. Um, I'm on a very strict budget though. So I, my, my whole plan is to buy more fluff to make more yarn. I'm looking for unique fluffs. I call it fluff. It's wool. <laughs> it's roving wool. I'm just looking for some more because I am plowing through it. I'm plowing through it. So, um, I'm really enjoying the spinning process. So if you want to hear things all wooly and not even just wool, if you want to hear things all yarn related, if you want to stick around for some cool like tutorials, welcome to Cinnamon Stitches Land. Like what we feature here is yarn unboxings, a dose of reality, <laughs> our, our sheer love and obsession with yarn and yarn related objects. Um, and occasionally we do tutorials and I'm saying that because we've had such an influx of newbies this week. Um, a lot of my tutorials, I try very hard to make size inclusive. And that means that I show you how to create it for your body or for another person's body. Because I had someone, one of my very loyal subscribers here, she contacted me. She was making it for someone who wears a size six X and she's like, how do I make this bigger? And I gave her adjustments for this thing on how to make her, make it fit a bigger body without the sleeves being too big. And, um... I take great pride and joy in that because um, I'm, I'm fat. I'm a big girl. I, I have no shame in that. And I want everyone, everyone to feel beautiful no matter what your size is. I don't care if you're four foot eight and you're a little bean pole. You deserve to feel beautiful. I don't care if you're five foot four and you're 600 pounds. You deserve to feel beautiful. I don't care if you're six foot three and you weigh 200 pounds and you're very squared off. Like you deserve to feel good in the skin that you're in and you deserve to dress that body to make yourself look good, feel good, all of the things. And so with that, that's what I strive for with my tutorials. And sometimes I just make things that are functional for my personal life. Like very important to stay hydrated folks. We all can use bags, okay? Project bags, garbage bags, utility bags, whatever you want to use this bag for. I am still in awe of how beautiful this, <laughs> this bag turned out. And I'm still happy with how squishy this yarn is. So, yeah, anyone who participated in Premiere Week last week, or even if you just watched the videos and you can't crochet. I had a couple people, like quite a few people, were like, I'm in the hospital. Diane's in the hospital. Well, Diane had knee surgery. Um... Someone else just got out of the hospital. Like, I had like five or six people say, I'm in the hospital. I just got out of the hospital. Just had surgery. <laughs> like, I'm recovering. I almost died. Like, I, wa I want to crochet, but I can't right now. So even if you are one of those people that can't crochet right now and participate, you watch the video, I'm so thankful for you. Even if you just hearted one of the posts on Instagram, that does help me. And so I am, I am grateful that you're just here and you're spending time with me and that we're doing something together, even if it's just sitting while I crochet and talk. <laughs> I also had someone complain like, um, why do you crochet all the way to the end of the row? You should just cut it. Because I like crocheting with my friends. And it was a new person that had, has never been in Cinnamon Stitches Land. The reason my tutorials are long is because I want to sit and crochet with you. I don't want you to have to keep pausing the video. And I know that I'm not everybody's cup of tea. But that's okay. You're not everybody's cup of tea either. <laughs> like, trust me. Some people find it offensive when you insult them. Um, <laughs> no, I just... It, honestly, it's just... My tutorials are a way for us to spend time together. For us to crochet together. And I talk during my tutorials. So that it feels like I'm sitting down with you in the living room. Or wherever you crochet your bed. It doesn't matter the back porch sometimes um we're sitting together and we're just having time together and I'm teaching you a new technique that maybe you didn't know or maybe you're working on something totally different and I'm just showing you what I'm doing that's my way of spending time with you guys and honestly I appreciate it and when I'm making the tutorials I'm thinking about that I'm thinking about who is on the other end crocheting with me 
What do they need to know? How many times do I need to repeat this stitch that they will get it if they're brand new? Because not everybody is experienced. So like that's why my tutorials are the way that they are. Not that I need to explain that. But that's why. That's why. So with all of that, I'm going to let you go. I am so grateful that you guys are here with me and that you guys participated and that you just watched the videos or whatever happened. Um, check out the new yarn. I don't know what the price is. Like I said, it hasn't released yet. <laughs> I'm filming this yesterday, but today I am off shopping, looking and touching all of the wooly things. Um, I, it's a new, I've never heard of this, this, this yarn wool festival. So, um, Mr. Cinnamon's actually the one that found it. And we're taking Little Man because Little Man has taken an interest in learning how to spin yarn. So I made him this cute little spindle and he span, spun a little tiny bit of yarn that's actually staying on the chopstick. <laughs> so um, he's going to go to the festival and we're going to pick out some fluff together. I ordered him a, a really cheap spindle off of Amazon and I ordered him red fluff because red is his favorite color of all times. And... Um, we may be seeing little man spin or we may not because he, his ADHD doesn't always, <laughs> he will be interested in something today and tomorrow he's like, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's boring. I don't like it. So and let's see if I can teach him. He's been the only child really that has been interested in any of my yarny stuff. He knit up a sweater on the knitting machine the other day and he likes doing that a lot. He cranked out a, a little kid sweater in about 20 minutes and he was happy. Was it perfect? No. I don't care. He don't care. <laughs> he was, he was so cute. He was cranking. You're going to see that in an upcoming video this week. Cause I filmed it. He's cranking and cranking. He's cranking on the little, the little Addy. And he's cranking it and he stopped and he's all mom, something's wrong. And he starts pushing down the stitches on the inside. He's all, is this stitch going to mess up? And I looked at it. I was like, it might, but let's just keep going and see what happens. <laughs> He cranked it and it was looser than the rest so it stuck out and I just pulled the fabric real good when I was done. You can't tell that it was a loose stitch. And um, if there were mistakes or skip stitches or double stitches, like sometimes the stitches will like hang in there and double up. I didn't see any but it's his scarf so he doesn't care. I don't care. Um, even if it was a donate scarf, like who is going to look at it and go, oh my god, there is a weird like... Yeah, this something's wrong with this stitch. A lot of people don't notice what you think they're going to notice. <laughs> like my strap, for example, that I made a mistake during the tutorial and I just left it in. Nobody's going to notice that. Because from a distance, I mean, if you're looking at it, you can see something is different there. But you're just going to think that's where I connected it or something, which is not. I just, for some reason, decided to crochet in the back loop for two rows. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I do know why. I was exhausted because that was towards the end of the tutorials. I was like, I'm just tired. I think that was the last tutorial I filmed. I was exhausted. I was like, I just want to be done. I just, I just want to be done with these tutorials. I'm so tired. And then I am going to talk about this in Monday. Like the second I finished the thumbnail pictures for the videos and I uploaded them. So the thumbnail is the picture you see that it shows you what the video is going to look like. Um, uh, my body like broke down. I got really, really sick last week. Like, I mean, really, really sick. And um, I don't want to repeat that anymore. I, I don't. So with that, you guys got an unboxing in or a recap on premiere week. So I think I'm going to let you go because I have some other work that needs to be taken care of today. And it's a half day. So little man is going to be home like any well, I think he'll be home in like an hour, but can't do nothing when he's home and it's going to be a busy weekend. So with that, I'm going to let you go and I will see you bright and early Monday morning. Bye guys. <laughs>